I get the chills every time I watch that. But anyways, today I just wanted to bring you along with me today to talk about that, how I got the idea, um, you know, pretty much just how I shot in a hot air balloon and maybe why. And at the end, I'll show you guys some photos that I'm super proud of from that shoot. So yeah, it's been cold here for the past couple weeks where I live. Um, it's finally kind of nice today, so I'm going to get out longboard a little bit and we can talk about it. First things first here, we got to... Uh, I'm currently bunny sitting, so I have to find this bunny and put it in its cage before I leave, or it'll shoot all of my cords up. So, let's find this bunny. Hello, bunny. How are you? I'll do this very carefully. Ow, ow, ow. kind of bright out. I don't have an ND filter on. Also, I used to longboard all the time, but never in Birkenstocks. Oh, stop, shit. That was a life or death situation right there. Let me get up here where I'm not gonna fall. And then uh, I'll let you guys know how I got this hot air balloon. Um, so first thing first, like how did I get the hot air balloon? Simple answer is uh, call ton of people and pay a shit ton of money. That's pretty much what I did. Call a shit ton of people, pay a shit ton of money. So there you go. If that's the answer you're looking for, video is done. Um, but one of the main issues that kept coming up when I was calling these hot air balloon places was we don't want you on the inside of our hot air balloon. The main difficult part about finding the hot air balloon was just someone that would allow us to go in there for no good reason. Um, and yeah, put that tarp at risk or whatever you call the balloon part. Why, why would I get a hot air balloon and take pictures in it and just like spend my money? And to answer that question, honestly, from the beginning, I don't really know why. I think a lot of creative people just kind of have this thing where I want to make something and when, I, when I'm making that, that's when I feel good. And when I'm not making stuff, I don't feel as good. We gotta switch this up, it's kind of bright. If you've made it this far in the video, just give me one of these. Give me one of these, a thumbs up. Maybe it's right here. Maybe it's right here, I don't know. It's a new year. It's exciting, 2023. I wanna bring you guys on more shoots. Um, definitely getting more BTS. I already have a couple lined up um, that I've already shot, so that will be exciting. But yeah, this year I just wanna bring you guys along more things. Um, spread a little bit of knowledge, maybe a little bit of insight into my life or just take you along to something cool. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this year and thank you guys for watching. So yeah, um, I had this idea of this video and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a hot air balloon. I'm gonna film it. We're gonna get cool pictures. It's gonna be really sick. Like people are gonna love this. And then I started filming it and started sitting down and talking to you guys. And I was kind of questioning myself, like what is the point of this video, you know? Why did I do this? The answer to why did I do it is, well, because I can do it. But why would I want to do something just because I can? And the answer to that is because I want to get good at it. So now we know why I did this thing, going out and getting a hot air balloon for pictures. And that's because I wanted to, and I wanted to get better at this thing that I'm doing. I think that's like a lesson that more people could um, try out and see if it works for themselves, is going out and trying things because you can, because you want to, and because you wanna get better at those things, and not being afraid of failure. Not being afraid to fail, and um, not being afraid to go and try. So both of those things kinda of go hand in hand, trying and failing, try, fail, try, fail, and then maybe once or twice, you'll do good at that thing. And over time, you'll be really good at that thing. So yeah, that's why I did this, is to get better. A little bit more on how, how did I have this idea? That was just simply, I saw this post on Instagram. This is a year and a half ago, I was like, damn, like 
I would love to shoot in a hot air balloon. So um, here I am, I did, it was super fun. Other than that, pretty much my idea for the shoot was two people were in this hot air balloon, they crashed, they explored around and inside the hot air balloon, and then they ignited the flame in the hot air balloon and they left. So yeah, that was like my little, um, kind of like my in my head storyboard of the photos was crash, explore, you know, kind of look around and then leave again. So that's a little bit about how I got inspired and how I went into the shoot, the mentality I went into the shoot with. So yeah, kind of a lot of rambling in this video and um, sorry, not sorry. I feel like I just wanted to get that point across um, and maybe inspire a few people to just kind of go out and try that thing that you're thinking about. Um, whether it's, you know, some sort of photography or videography or maybe it's pottery or yoga or something really cool like that. So whatever you're thinking about doing this year, I encourage you to just go out and try it because you can. Um, try to get good at it. And yeah, don't be afraid to fail. So I think there's enough rambling, right? You're sick of hearing me. Here is some of the photos that I got that day. And see you in the next video. walking down on the other end okay. to do it but I didn't know if I, I just before this gets too high I didn't know if this was something you want the girls or whoever in front of so I think we'll stay on this side okay all right my bad no you're good